Texas Independence Day, the final day of early voting. Joining us on the phones right now to discuss his campaign for Texas Land Commissioner. We've had him on uh, once before when he wasn't a candidate. Uh, joining us right now, Rick Range, candidate for Texas Land Commissioner. Uh, good morning, Rick. How are you? Good morning. Real good. And you? Uh, doing well. Glad to have you back on the program today. Uh, but we, we've had you on earlier uh, when uh, you weren't a candidate and you were talking about uh, your opposition to uh, George P. Bush and uh, his plan to reimagine the Alamo. Uh, I want you to talk uh, first a little bit about yourself. Uh, for those who don't know who you are, uh, tell them who you are and then why you decided to, to run for this position. Well, I'm a, a former firefighter and uh about 12 years ago, started co-authoring a book on the Alamo and got very involved in the research into that. And then last spring, when the plans of uh, Mr. Bush's reimagined the Alamo plan were unveiled, uh, I got really concerned because nobody outside of San Antonio knew anything about this. And so we formed the Save the Alamo Committee and uh, the Save the Alamo website and social media to try to get the word out across the state uh, before it was too late. And... Um, but that was what we were doing the last time I talked to you. And then uh, November 1st, uh, since there was no, no other candidate campaigning on this, so I thought there had needed to be somebody fighting for the Alamo, so I declared and became a candidate. And then uh, uh, former Commissioner Patterson, uh, he um, later got in on the uh, final day of filing, and he, so there's four of us now in the race. And we are trying to get Mr. Bush into a runoff. And, and why should voters vote for you in this race? Well, I believe that uh, of all four, I, uh, without a doubt, have the most experience and knowledge with the Alamo and what needs to be done there. Uh, I will say that Commissioner Patterson did an excellent job, and he did some great things for the Alamo, including getting the Travis letter down there for the first time in 170 years. So uh, I, I feel real highly about him, too. But um, it's going to be very close. That's uh, I, I feel good about it. I think we've gained a lot of momentum in the last three weeks. Uh, but it's still going to be razor thin, I think, it, whether we get him in a runoff or not. If, uh, if, if people are trying to decide, if they just don't like George P. Bush, and uh, they're, they're looking at uh, trying to decide on somebody, and uh, they know, you know, Commissioner Patterson, they've, they've heard his name, they've heard radio, uh, radio ads pro uh, Patterson and against Patterson. Uh, they've heard you here on this show and other shows. Uh, what is it that separates the two of you and why should people vote for you over Patterson? Well, let me say first, for a complete background on me and the experience, uh, they can go to rickrange.us. That's rickrange.us, and it gives my complete background and experience. I've got uh, experience in all, pretty much all the areas of the land offices. You know it's a lot more than the Alamo. It has the oil and gas leases that go into the permanent school fund. Uh, it's got coastal, uh, the storm relief, storm recovery, and uh, it's also got veterans affairs. And um, I've got experience in all of those backgrounds uh, as well as the Alamo. And uh, like I say, they can go to that website and see the full story and my full background. Okay. Well, before we get to uh, some of the other issues, I, I want to talk about the Alamo because that's that's it, everyone sort of made that the the centerpiece of their campaigns, I'd say, uh, or at least those who are running against George P. Bush uh, have made that the centerpiece of your campaigns. What is your plan for the Alamo? If you're elected land commissioner, what would you like to see done? Well, what I would do is uh, immediately uh, implement the plan that the Texas legislature passed three years ago, uh, passed it and funded it, and it was going to keep the focus on the 1836 battle and the, the heroic defenders. And um, I, I will say one other thing that sets me apart is over the last 12 years I have uh, dealt with and know uh, all the, the major experts from archaeologists to all structural experts, uh, all fields of anything dealing with the Alamo, and we've done several projects together, so I know them all personally. And uh, these are people that Bush 
refused to consult. He brought in those out-of-state guys who knew nothing about the Alamo, or very little, and had no conception of how the people of Texas felt about the Alamo. But these experts are the ones that I would bring in. I've already talked to them. They, they all said they're ready, willing, and able, and chomping at the bit to, to, to do it. And so I would uh, hit the ground running and try to get this plan implemented beginning day one because there's a time limit. You know, Phil Collins gave that uh, massive collection, multi-million dollar collection, but he put a seven-year time limit on it. It said it's not all up displayed fully, not in bits and pieces, but uh, you know, all in one in the facility built and uh, the, the uh, entire collection displayed to the public that he was going to take it back. Now, it's Mr. Bush and his inept cronies, they've already burnt through uh, four years of that seven-year time period, so we don't have any further time to waste. Uh, so that's what I would do. I would I'd start implementing what the legislature intended uh, from day one. There have been some who have criticized uh, uh, Commissioner Bush's uh, reaction to Hurricane Harvey. Uh, yes. How, what about yourself? Do you would uh, do you think he handled that well, and how would you have handled it? Oh, deplorable, just awful. Uh, what happened there? One of the big factors in that was Jerry Patterson had put together a really good rapid response team uh, during the prior two hurricanes. He was tasked with that by the governor. He took it on, got a real good team together. And when Bush came in and just started firing everybody, that was one of the first things. He fired half of them. The other half quit, thinking they were going to get fired. So consequently, when Hurricane Harvey hit, that, that's why we were caught flat-footed. We did not have that uh, rapid response team available anymore. Uh, and then he refused to uh, implement the FEMA plan because the state would have had to pay 10% of it, um, he, uh, trying to appear like a physical conservative. And that's why there were still people living in the, in the trucks and in tents uh, for months after the storm. And, uh, you know, Louisiana had a storm like this, and four months later they had 10,000 homes rehabbed, at least where they were livable, not completely rebuilt. We had a grand total of two because of Mr. Bush. So that was a total debacle, total, total debacle. So I would reinstate that excellent uh, response team that uh, Commissioner Patterson had for one. Visiting with Rick Range, candidate for Texas Land Commissioner. Rick, uh, as we wrap up, uh, go ahead, uh, take, uh, take the next minute or so and tell people why they need to get out and vote for you on this last day of early voting. Okay. Uh, I would appeal for everybody's vote. But uh, the main thing is that we get Mr. Bush into a runoff. So if, if you prefer, one of the other th three, three of us are running against him. So uh, the main thing is to get Mr. Bush into runoff because he is a political radical. He claims to be a conservative. He came out two weeks ago in the Bryan paper and called for the abolishment of Confederate Heroes Day. That didn't get any news media, but uh, he did it. And we have absolutely got to get him in a runoff if if the Alamo is to remain a Texas shrine and not a politically correct tourist theme park. So the entire future of the Alamo is, is riding on this. So I would encourage all the good people of Lubbock and the South Plains to have a massive turnout and give us a huge anti-Bush vote. That's what it's going to take. If that's what's going to be necessary in order to get Mr. Bush into a runoff and to preserve the Alamo that we've always had. If uh, if not, the, the consequences are going to be very dire for the Alamo if, if we're not successful in this. Rick, tell folks how they can find out more information about yourself one more time. Yes, sir. It's Rick Range. US, like United States. Rick Range. US. Uh, they can go on there and read the whole story of what Mr. Bush has done and what he's tried to do and what we've done and uh, all my background. And uh, please get everybody to go vote that you possibly can. Sounds good. Rick Range, appreciate your time today, and uh, I'm sure we'll talk later on. Thank you so much. That's Rick Range, candidate for Texas Lane Commissioner. Chad HD Show, KFYO.